Hello again, it's Dr. Dimichek. A uh, common topic that comes up is why do people crave nicotine in tobacco? Well, there certainly is nicotine addiction, but that has been shown that if you go cold turkey for about two weeks, that it's, it's over with. Okay, and a lot of smokers can go two weeks, but then why are they still craving cigarettes? Well, it has to do with the low blood pressure problem. The low blood pressure problem in the brain. Remember, we've talked about this before. To get oxygen in your brain, you've got to get oxygen up there and release. So you have red blood cells that carry oxygen. You breathe, you fill them up. you got to push them at the right pressure for that oxygen to transfuse into your neurons. They only have one second of spare oxygen up there. And the blood pressure regulation problem is a very, very common thing that occurs after an injury, like a physical injury, an emotional trauma, an inflammatory trauma, such as COVID. And now, if we go back to the 1960s, it seemed like everybody could fully recover from even a severe injury, like you're knocked unconscious for five minutes. And now what we're discovering is that Many people can't fully recover and they leave a little bit of damage behind from a multitude of you know severe to mild injuries and this damage from each one is adding on top of each other build 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 and they have complaints of low blood pressure so the low blood pressure also is ADD all right drugs like Adderall and Ritalin and so forth push blood to your head that's one of the main things they do Okay, people talk about them as a stimulant. They do. They're like a nuclear cup of coffee. But the biggest effect they have is they push blood into your head and increase the pressure so the oxygen can go into your neurons and you can think clearly. Okay, um, so that's a really common cause of this. Or the foot tappers that I talk about, where people their legs are bouncing because if you don't regulate blood pressure to your head correctly, the blood pools in the muscles of your legs, and your brain learns to get itself some oxygen by forcing you to tap your legs, okay? So, two just very common, uh, you know, kind of symptoms of low blood pressure. Well, the other is this craving for nicotine. Now, back in the 1940s, when anatomists, you know, people who specialize in the anatomy of the body were kind of dissecting the nervous system and, and how it interacted with the blood pressure system, they discovered these receptors throughout the body that are called nicotine receptors or nicotinic receptors, all right? I mean, I can remember as a young medical student taking uh, a piece of muscle, uh, fresh muscle from a dissected animal. I know it sounds kind of gross, but, and they would inject nicotine in it and you could see the blood vessels constrict. Well, what happens is when they constrict, they squirt blood up to your head, okay? And that's what happens when you smoke or chew. That nicotine is triggering these nicotinic receptors and it's pushing blood to your head, okay? Uh, it can make your heart race some too because those nicotinic receptors can increase your heart rate. So you have a, you have a blood pressure problem. Now, people say, well, I've never heard of this. It's ridiculous. Well, it's not. Trust me, the science is all there. And we've kind of observed this in a way. So say you're someplace where the weather's really bad. You know, it's Chicago, super windy, you know, minus 20 with wind chill. And here's old Bob out there still smoking on his smoke break. And people are looking thinking, boy, that must be nicotine addiction. Those nicotine's got a hold of Bob. Well, it's low blood pressure. Every cigarette's pushing blood and increasing oxygen delivery in Bob's head when he's upright. Now, so every couple hours, Bob's got to go take a puff on some tobacco. But when Bob goes home and goes to bed and lays flat, he's gotten rid of this gravity problem. He's able to push blood to his head more readily. <laughs> he could sleep for 10 hours without a cigarette. If you have a chemical addiction, like say somebody is addicted to opioids, you wake up for your opioids, okay? 
If you have a nicotine addiction that's going to make you go to minus 10 degrees, that hurts. That's not comfortable. And you're out there smoking, okay, it's going to wake you up at night. And it doesn't. Why? Because Bob's got a gravity problem from an injury, multiple injuries actually, that he didn't recover from. Okay? How do you fix this? Well, that's what the you know our protocol is all about. Olive oil uh, blocks. Inf- you know, we got a lower inflammation, and you'll repair your brain. So olive oil protects you from the soy oil, vegetable oil toxicity. You need more omega threes, especially DHA that penetrates the brain. Uh, omega threes are turned into the natural molecules that turn off inflammation. You got to balance your gut bacteria using rifaximin. Okay, either on a as needed basis or even maybe continuously for three or four months to start with. And then most adults need uh, a little added vagus nerve stimulation um, to lower inflammation further. And within, oh, most of my patients within four to six months, they aren't really craving cigarettes anymore. They're, it's Why? Because their blood pressure system is recovered and they can get blood pressure up there without the nicotine. Okay, hope that's helpful. Y'all take care of yourselves.